Hi there. My name is Morgan and I'm a PMA teacher at Freeway. Uh, and today I have a video for you, whether you are just starting out playing the piano or you've been playing piano for a long time and you've noticed some muscle or some, some tension problems, or if you've been playing piano for a long time and you haven't noticed anything like that, but you just want to check in and make sure you're doing everything right. So wherever you fall into all that, this video is for you because I'm going to teach you how to play the piano. Not how to play any specific songs on the piano, but how to sit properly at the piano, how to use our hands, shape them the right way, and how to just use our bodies in the right way so that we're making music um, the way we should be doing it. So, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the bench. So you're gonna to wanna to be sitting on the front half of the bench like this, and leaning forward just slightly while keeping a straight back. So you want your weight to just feel like it's moving through the piano while you're playing. So everything we're gonna do as far as placement goes is gonna to have to do with that. So don't do anything crazy like they do in the movies, but just a nice gentle lean and a straight back. Um, and as far as where your bench is placed, you're going to wanna to have it so that if there were a waterfall, coming from the end of the plastic or the wood of your keyboard. Uh, it would just get your knees, or the ends of your legs, wet. And that's going to put our arms at a nice position from the piano. Now that we're sitting in the right position on the piano, we've got this nice distance between us and the keyboard itself. That means that our arms can have a little bit of a, a bend in them, not a 90 degree bend, so you don't want to be anything like 90 degrees, and you definitely don't want it to be wide like this to where it's almost a straight line. We're just gonna have a nice gentle bend, and that's another way you can tell that you're sitting close enough to the piano. So now that we have this nice gentle bend, let's focus on our wrists here, because our wrists can be the cause of a lot of tension if we're not using them properly and we're not careful. So we want our wrists to be flexible while we're playing. We don't want to keep our wrists really locked up stiff, and we don't want to be positioning them in the wrong way, too. You'll notice the way I have my wrist positioned is there's almost a straight line from my elbow all the way down onto my hand here. So the wrist is going to be in line. It's going to keep your hand in line with your forearm. It's not going to have it way up here, making some kind of a crazy mountain like this, that's going to put way too much strain right on the side of your forearm. And if you play like this, um, like if you're sitting uh, too high at the piano, or if you're standing up and playing like you see in a rock group sometimes, that's also going to put strain on the other side of your forearm. So we want to keep our wrist nice like this and keep it loose so that we can move around and we have agility. So we're sitting in the right place at the piano and we've got our arms positioned correctly and we've covered our wrists too. So let's move on to the hand itself because this is where you can have a lot of problems uh, too. And it's also where um, you're gonna be focused on mostly too. So you're gonna be thinking about your hand position a lot while you're playing. Um, so what you're going to picture what I like to tell people to picture uh, when I'm talking about hand position at the piano is that you're trying to keep a bubble from escaping and you're trying to keep it here under your hand or maybe you can think about a tennis ball or an orange being under your hand and just rolling around on the keys while you're playing. But whatever your picture has to be, uh, you're going to want this kind of shape right here that does look like you could have a bubble or something round like that under your hand because uh, that's going to give you a really nice shape where your hand can stay relaxed and where you'll be using your energy in the right way, using your muscles in the right way. Uh, notice my hands have just, my fingers, excuse me, have a nice gentle curl here. I don't want a bear claw like this. I like to call this a bear claw. That means we're pulling our fingers back You'd be playing almost like this on the tops of your fingers. That's not good because that means we're going to be using our fingernails to play. And it means that we're going to be holding tension in our hand and in our arm. So we don't want a bear claw. 
And we also don't want pencil fingers like this, where we keep everything flat. That's going to lead to some problems too, and it's also going to be harder for you to play expressively if you have pencil fingers like this. So we're going to curve them, get our nice bubble shape right here, and that is going to allow us to play um, as though our fingers were going straight forward into the keyboard. Um, because your fingers can poke out a little bit more that way. So that means we're using our energy just like when we're leaning forward and we're using our proper placement. All of that goes toward using our energy and our muscles in the right way while we're playing. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I can't start playing yet. I haven't stretched yet. See, stretching, just like athletes have to stretch before a game or before practice, uh, musicians need to stretch uh, the muscles that they're going to be using too before we practice. So me as a pianist, I like to give my hands a stretch like this, and it also stretches out my forearm. Now when I'm stretching, I don't want to pull so hard that it hurts. Just a nice stretch like this. And then I get my thumb as well. It's very important to stretch before you practice because if you don't, you can get injuries, um, you'll get things like tendonitis that build up over time, um, and also you'll just be sore and have discomfort in your joints and in your arms. So nobody wants that. So stretching is a really, really good thing to do before you practice. And I also like to stretch a little bit throughout my practice as well. So definitely don't forget to stretch. Um, don't pull too hard and overextend anything. Um, and make sure that you're stretching long enough to actually make a difference um, so that you're loose and you're ready to play. All right, so let's review. We're sitting on the front half of the bench and we're making sure that we're leaning forward just a little bit and that our legs are positioned, or that the bench is positioned so that our legs are right underneath the end of the piano. Then we're worried about our arms. Our arms have a nice gentle bend up here, not straight armed, not 90 degrees, and we've got our flat wrist and it's nice and gentle and relaxed. Then I'm imagining my tennis ball or my orange under the, my hands while I'm playing and it's given me a nice curve in my fingers. I stretched just a second ago and I'm remembering to stretch as I play. So I think with all of that stuff, we're ready to start playing. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and stay safe.